So we're just going to unbox the Pippin's wind deflector. Let's see what we've got. So you can see. I did slightly open this up just to check that I'd got what I wanted. So the roll bar inserts. I you can see, but they've got the Mercedes logo on both of them. And we get to the end. There we are. With the mount in brackets. Cool. Right, out to the car. So, what you need is a TXE, a, a TX20, one of these torque things. And then, when you open this up, just underneath here are two very small screws that once you've taken off, you have access to this. So, next stage is just to loosen these off, going off these instructions. We've got to separate these. We've got to be careful not to lose the washers that are behind. Then comes your console door. Following these instructions on YouTube. <laughs> now you will see two 10mm silver coloured bolts. Unscrew those and that will let you attach my stainless steel support bracket. There is a right way and a wrong way to do this. Well, no, that's as loose as it goes. But... <laughs> They are almost out. That's as loose as it goes. So it's got to go behind that. How the f It says under no circumstances to pull this out to unscrew it, but I am that is now out. So if I just put that back in a little bit. That's as much play, and this will not, will not fit. It will not fit behind that without that bolt coming out. Well, that was an epic fail. I'm going to email Pippins and see what he suggests because. There's no way that I can force that behind that without undoing those screws. And these written instructions specifically dictate, do not take the screws out. So, I shall see what he comes back and tells me. No, these longer bolts. Longer bolts. It's not going to... I know, but this is close to it. Way, other way of doing it. No, well, no yeah. the, the instructions are, yeah. it's, it's supposed to sit behind there, and then that's got to go behind there. So, but, hang on. They've got to sit behind, that's an incorrect, has, that lip has to sit behind. 
So at this point, I decided to put the phone down and we gave one last proper effort. So I actually, what we had to do was I held the, pl the plate in place against the back of the uh, SLK and pushed it in both my hands, all my strength to keep it tight. And then my friend had to line, there's a bit of a movement within for the, um, for the bolt to fit through. So he had to get that lined up whilst I was pinning it, it to the back and then use a bit of force to get it to, to tighten on. As soon as the bolt bit, fine, it's no problems. But yeah, there's, there's just no way I could do that on my own. Perhaps somebody that's more technically minded than me probably could do, but I am who I am, and I hoped I could fit this myself, thinking it would be quite simple. Uh, yeah. Oh well, back to the video. Now you've just seen the bit with a guy from my owners club who I went out with for a few days and our efforts to fit that. So now it's time to actually finish fitting the deflector off altogether today. And I have a cat off the street that's decided to come and say hello. Well. You do pick your timing. I'm in the middle of a video, you know. I am. I'm in the middle of a video. I know, I... You've just picked the wrong time. I'm trying to do a video. I am. I'm trying to do a video. Before it rains. So... To fit this to this, you get some uh, rubber washers and then you get a nut with a washer as well. So you get four of each and it is simple Allen key fitting. I don't know what the sizes are, I'm not, I'm not technically minded as you've probably guessed from this video. So the instructions are to fit these washers first then to put the fur specs behind it and then to attach. So, just following his instructions, make sure not to over tighten these, and that's it done. So, now it's time to try and fit these roll bar inserts. So, we have little instructions, and then so I'm going to have a, have a little read through and um, fit them. So it reads, you will notice a small tab on the top of each plexiglass insert, which I don't know if you can see, but there is a little tab there. Locate towards the rear edge. First insert the top of the rock, insert the top into the roll bar, align it with the full stitching around the inner center and make sure the small tab is located towards the back. So.
Now that one went in a lot easier than the other one. So yeah, so just with the roll bar inserts at the end, um, it took me three attempts to put the first one in because as you saw it kept on falling out the, the bottom to, or the top. Um, I couldn't quite fit the bottom in properly. I then rang Pippin up again and he was very helpful. He told me, he advised actually that if I needed to, I could use a, ha a, a hammer with a microfiber cloth tucked around it just to help tap it in safely. But I, just, I had a go with my fingers and put a lot of pressure into it and I was able to, um, to actually fit the second one in first time. And then I went back to the first one and got that trimmed off as well. But yeah, so it's all fitted. So I thought I'd just, just quickly better just show you so you can see. So we've got, got, I've decided to go with just a standard Mercedes logo. And then we've got that. He does do the option of putting uh, whatever kind of graphics you want on there. But I've decided just to keep it clear because with me doing the YouTube, and I want to be able to see anything that comes through, have a clear view. I will say that I'm quite surprised. I didn't actually expect the smoke glass. I thought it was clear initially. That serves me right for not looking correctly. But yeah, I, th I think it looks, they look really nice. Personally, I think that the fabric wind restrictor probably does as good a job. It's just not as tidy. It's just not as neat looking as a Perspex one. Um, the Perspex one I have noticed though, you, it's getting, I suppose it's getting used to the reflections that, you're gonna, that you get coming off it and I haven't driven it in bright sunlight yet so that might have an effect but, but yeah it's, it's a tidy way if you, you know, by all means feel free to order one from them and I hope you enjoy it because you can get plenty of different engravings fitted to them. Yeah, leave you to it. If you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up click subscribe and I will see you down the road for the next video. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.